hello welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here my name is Jen I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and today we are going to talk about the six foods that you should always have in your refrigerator. So if you're excited for today's video, please give it a big, huge thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and lets me know what types of videos to put out in the future for you. And if you're new or you're not yet subscribed, of course, I'd love to have you hit the little subscribe button. And of course the bell next to it. So you're notified whenever I upload, I do upload videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So you definitely don't want to miss out. Check out the description box down below for my 2021 custom calendar. I'm about to sold out. So if you'd like to get your hands on one, definitely do that before they're gone. Track your life, your self-care, water, weight loss, and of course your food for the day. So it is fully encompassing of everything that you need to track. So pick one up before they're gone. You'll also find my nutrition coaching where I offer personalized macro and calorie calculation. You have to know what you should be eating every day to be successful. So let me figure that out tailored and personalized to you. You'll also find 30 and 60 minute one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. If you're looking for something a little bit more personalized, also links and discount codes to my favorite items that are healthy and great alternatives alternatives to some of your unhealthy foods are linked in the description box below. So without further ado, let's jump into the six items you should always, and I mean always, have in your refrigerator. doesn't have to be complicated. You don't have to follow a strict diet plan or weight loss plan to lose weight and to be healthy. Stocking your refrigerator with healthy staples is a great way to stay on track and to see success on the scale. Turn your home into a healthy zone, a place that provides healthy, nutritious foods and foods that allow you to stay on track and to lose weight at the rate that you choose to lose weight. And that healthy home starts with our refrigerator. The six items that I'm going to share with you today are proven to help with longevity longevity of a healthy, happy life. And number one are nuts. Yes, you should be storing certain nuts in your refrigerator. Did you know that nut eaters tend to outlive non-nut eaters? And because of this, it is recommended to eat a handful, AKA about two ounces of mixed nuts daily. Nuts come in tons of varieties and they are full of healthy fat with helps satiate your appetite. Buying your nuts in small quantities is recommended because what happens when you buy them in large quantities and they sit in your pantry or in your cupboard for a long period of time, they start to oxidize and lose some of their nutritional benefit. So if you do you buy nuts in bulk, make sure that you're storing them in your refrigerator. Number two are vegetables. And we all know that eating vegetables is part of a healthy diet. If you have a hard time eating all your vegetables before they go bad, you can do things like pickle them, dehydrate them, can them, or even freeze them. The best vegetables to eat are leafy greens like spinach and kale, beets, turnips, chard, and collard greens. Also some other recommendations are Brussels sprouts, broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, and peppers. Now all vegetables are good, but these are the ones that have the highest nutrient content. And these are the ones that are beneficial for longevity. And number three is fruit. Another thing that we're told to eat three to five servings of fruits and vegetables every single day. Fresh fruit is an absolute staple. Think apples and melons, grapefruit, oranges, and clementines. Think about fruits that last a long time. You don't want to spend your hard earned money on fruits that go bad in a couple of days. So really focus on fruits that are going to last a while in the refrigerator, especially if you're not able to eat them right away. In fact, you can even put bananas in the refrigerator. Do it when they're almost ripe and they'll last a lot longer. In addition to filling your fridge with fruits and vegetables, it's recommended that you store your fruits on the top shelf of your refrigerator. And the reason for that is it puts them at eye level and you'll automatically gravitate towards choosing the healthy fruits and vegetables. Number four is tofu. Now, if you are not vegetarian or vegan, any type of lean meat is going to have the same benefits for your body and longevity as tofu. The most ideal situation would be to eat plant protein more days a week than you eat animal protein. So things like tofu, beans, and legumes, and limit your animal-based proteins to two to four times per week. Now tofu will take on the flavor of anything that you cook it in. So you can drizzle it with a little bit of olive oil, cook it in some butter or ghee or some balsamic vinegar. You can even pop 
it into your air fryer, fryer for a crispy version of tofu. Number five is fish, and we've all heard how healthy fish is. While it's recommended that we limit our animal proteins to two to four times a week, it is actually recommended in the contrary to eat up to three ounces of fish every day if desired. Favor mid-chained fish like trout, snapper, sardines, and anchovies. And steer clear of a farm-raised fish. So whenever you're buying your fish, make sure that it is wild caught. The reason for this is they're generally raised in overcrowded pens, and it makes it necessary to use antibiotics, pesticides, and even coloring. So definitely steer clear of any farm-raised fish and purchase the wild caught. Number six is non-dairy or alternative milks. You don't have to drink milk to get in your calcium. There are several vegetables that are very high in calcium. For example, kale. One cup of cooked kale has just as much calcium as a glass of milk. Another high calcium food is tofu. So you don't have to drink dairy if you have an issue with dairy or if you're trying to reduce or eliminate dairy from your diet. Really focus on those non-dairy alternative milks. Make sure that you're picking up the unsweetened version so that they're not loaded with sugar and look for your almond milk, cashew milk, macadamia milk, and coconut milk. Most of these alternative milks have just as much calcium as the milk that comes from the dairy. So what about eggs? Because eggs are actually considered dairy. The number one takeaway with eggs is to make sure that you are picking out organic pasture-raised eggs. Kind of like fish, stay away from the traditional eggs, the chickens that are raised in hen houses and fed GMO grain, antibiotics, and feed that isn't in its natural state. Chickens should be able to forage and eat bugs and worms to have the most effective nutrient-dense egg. Eggs are cheap, satiating, easy to find, and an excellent source of protein. In fact, your body is able to fully absorb the protein from eggs where there's a lot of other protein sources that your body isn't fully able to absorb all of the protein. The protein in eggs is known to lower your blood pressure. If you do choose to eat, eat eggs on the regular, again, make sure that they are organic pasture raised eggs. So those are the six foods that you should always have in your refrigerator for optimal health as well as longevity. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a big huge thumbs up. It means a lot to me and lets me know to keep putting out these types of informational videos. I will make sure that I link all six of these items down in the description box, actually seven because eggs was kind of a bonus for you so that they're at your fingertips the next time that you're making your grocery shopping list. If you're new or you're not yet subscribed, take a moment, subscribe. I'd love to have you and you won't miss a video if you hit the little bell next to the subscribe button. Don't forget about the calendar, nutrition coaching, and links and discounts to my favorite things found down in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do upload on Tuesdays and Thursdays, so I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!